Howdy folks, Andy Tran here with Inner Bark Outdoors. In this video, I wanted to show you guys my very first fully custom knife. It is a Piranha made by Dogwood Custom Knives. Dogwood Custom Knives is owned and operated by Dan Eastland. I met Dan in the Amazon jungle for the first Bushcraft Global trip. And uh, he brought the very first Piranha pattern knife to the jungle to test it out. And during my time there, I got to play with it a little bit got to liking it and when we got back into the states uh we got to talking and he said he would make me one so eventually it did come true and i do have my very own piranha made by dogwood custom knives check it out this knife is fully customizable meaning that you can change the handle materials blade materials and even thicknesses of the blade this particular piranha is made out of cpm 154 and is 330 seconds thick the handle material is a black palm, the same thing that I used to make my bow in the Amazon jungle. A really nice touch is that the pins are carbon fiber, so it all blends in really well together. Underneath the black palm is a set of black liners, and everything is smoothed together extremely well, so it's almost seamless. The CPM 154 blade is ground down to 12 degrees and has an extremely fine micro bevel. This makes it easier to sharpen in the field. The leather sheath is also custom as well, and it's made by Reliance Leatherworks. And it's actually made under the same roof as a knife, which means the fit and finish are perfect. The groove fits perfectly with where the blade starts. This one has a removable dangler system, so you can easily put it on without taking off your belt. You can wear the sheath at three different levels. You can either have it with the belt loop where it hangs down low beneath the kidney belt for a backpack, or you can have it go at a medium setting, or you can have it ride high and with the camp to it. The Piranha is what you would consider a companion knife, so it does a really good job if you pair it up with an axe or a machete. In this video, I'm gonna go ahead and process this tree to make a trap. This was a tree that was down by a recent storm, so I figured that I'd do something a little bit different. Because you're using a large tool to handle all the heavy tasks, you can save a lot of energy by not having to exert it on uh, using a small tool for a large job. If you have a proper ax and the ax is uh, well sharpened and well taken care of, it'll make quick work of anything. With a little bit of know-how and the help of a few wedges, you can go ahead and start splitting this thing right down the middle. The great thing about this knife is because it is 330 seconds, it is nice and easy to push right through a piece of wood without having to baton it. The 12 degree edge makes this thing cut like a razor blade. What I like about this blade is that the blade starts pretty close to where the handle is, so there's not a lot of torque and uh, extra exertion that you put onto the workpiece by having the cutting surface be further away from your hand. So in terms of slicing and you know doing the carving tasks, this knife does perfect. And this is where a knife like this really starts to excel, is the really fine intricate tasks. Here you'll see that I'm starting to cut out the notch that I'll use for my trigger stick.
Although this blade shape is not well suited for batoning, uh, it does this job pretty well. The 12 degree grind on this blade makes this thing a fantastic cutter. And as you can see in the video, it makes it really easy to really even out this stick so I can use it as part of my trap trigger. And uh, when I was talking to Dan Eastlin about the 12 degree edge, he was saying that it's not something that he would typically do for just anyone. Um, it's really for the more experienced user and someone that's going to be careful with an edge. Typically he would have an edge that's a little bit steeper and a little more durable for the everyday person. And that's the trap. The 90 degree spine on this knife is fantastic. Uh, I found that uh, when scraping it as hard as I would, say with just a regular scraper, I was taking off too much material. So really, a light pressure is all you need to really start throwing a lot of sparks. So that is the Piranha made by Dogwood Custom Knives. If you guys are on the fence of whether or not a custom knife is for you, go ahead and check out the Dogwood website. You'll see a bunch of different models, and if you have any questions about them, go ahead and give him an email. He'll be more than happy to answer any of the questions you have. He is a wealth of knowledge, and he can really tailor a knife to fit you perfectly. Um, if you guys have any comments or questions for me, go ahead and message me directly or comment down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe, and also check out my Facebook page and other social media. It really helps me know these are the kind of videos you want to see. But as always, take care out there. Bye.